the mega-rich are preparing for the apocalypse. Inside billionaires' bunkers where richest plan to sit out apocalypse in luxurious doomsday dugouts, with swimming pools, cinemas and wine vaults. These pictures show how the mega-rich are preparing for the apocalypse in style, from cinemas, spas and libraries to gardens with simulated light. From sprawling bedrooms and swimming pools to an enormous wine vault, these pictures appear to show the interiors of luxury mansions. But while they certainly depict a five-star lifestyle, they are actually taken inside some of the world's most impressive doomsday bunkers. These include the Abedim, the biggest private apocalypse shelter on the planet, where the mega-rich could take refuge during a disaster. Guests inside the gargantuan two-tier base, in the Czech Republic, can enjoy the use of a pool, a spa, a wine cellar, a cinema and a library and they can even roam a garden fitted with simulated light. Other features include a conference room, surgical facilities and a command center with equipment to communicate to the outside world. Marketed towards the world's richest, the bunker provides an insight into how the ultra-wealthy might live out a possible doomsday scenario. Construction began during the Cold War in 1984. It took 10 years to complete with underground levels built to withstand a nuclear attack. The building, near Prague, also features a private helipad, while living areas including children's bedrooms are tucked away behind a blast door. It is claimed that the bunker will allow inhabitants to survive natural or man-made disasters, or long-term power cuts, for up to a decade. An Epidem spokesman previously said, the bunker will be able to provide long-term accommodation for residents, up to 10 years if necessary, without the need for external supplies. Another doomsday bunker fit for a billionaire is Vivos Europa 1. Unveiled to the world in 2015, the shelter has been described as the ultimate doomsday escape and a modern-day Noah's Ark. Now invitation only, the structure in Germany had been carved out of solid bedrock under a 400-foot tall mountain, during the Cold War. Formerly a fortress for military equipment and munitions, it has since been transformed into a survival complex with blast-proof living areas. It is said to be in full operational condition, with improvements set to be carried out in the common area and the private living quarters. Situated in the village of Rothenstein, it is claimed the shelter will allow families to autonomously survive virtually any catastrophe or disaster for several years without needing to return to the surface. These families will be able to design their pads to their own specifications, with add-ons including pools, theaters and deluxe rooms. There will also be access to a communal hospital, several restaurants and a bakery, and the complex will be big enough for roads. Elsewhere on the 76-acre complex, there will reportedly be a wine cellar, prayer rooms, classrooms, and a television station. Vivo's founder and CEO, Robert Vicinio, claimed the shelter can survive a substantial close-range nuclear blast or natural disaster. He previously told Forbes, We are proud to bring this epic project forward in these increasingly dangerous times. Meanwhile, in South South Dakota, U.S., hundreds of concrete military bunkers are being transformed into a massive survival shelter. The complex, which will be the size of a city, could save 10,000 people from a nuclear war, a deadly virus or an asteroid strike, its makers claim. Vivos is repurposing the 18-square-mile former military base. It is three-quarters the size of Manhattan, New York, and access to the bunkers is through a huge heavy door. The structures look bland from the outside, but once inside they appear to be designed like cozy front rooms. There are sofas, cushions, a coffee table, as well as paintings hanging on the walls. In a video showing off one of the bunkers, a member of Vivos describes the building as a backup for mankind. He says, to not have this and to have a backup plan for mankind to have an insurance policy is crazy. At the cost we're able to do this, $25,000 per bunker it's nothing, so it's crazy not to. It's nothing more than life assurance. 
Vivo's X Point is located in the Black Hills area, and the concrete bunkers were initially built in 1942 as an army munitions depot, Dazine reports. Another shelter for the ultra wealthy is the Survival Condo in Kansas. It was designed to withstand a nuclear blast or nature's worst, but is far cry from what you might expect an underground shelter to look like. There is a cinema, a swimming pool with a water slide, a spa, a lounge, a gym and an indoor shooting range to keep occupants entertained. But survival comes at a price. Last year, it was reported that plush 3,600 square feet penthouses within the shelter, a former missile silo, were selling for $4.5 million, 3.6 million pounds. Half-floor units, each measuring 900 square feet, were said to be available for $1.5 million, 1.2 million pounds, while full-floor units measuring 1,820 square feet were going for $3 million, 2.4 million pounds. Engineer and software developer Larry Hall converted the Atlas missile silo into the self-contained, secure luxury survival condo and resort. On the walls of the complex, windows can broadcast live images from outside to make residents feel as though they're above ground. But in fact, they would be hundreds of feet under it. In a previous statement, Mr. Hall said the bunker had full military-grade security including lethal and non-lethal measures, to protect its occupants no matter what the threat. And here's what Mirror Online's deputy editorial director Liz Hazelton thought. Set on a crystal-clear lake amid brooding mountains and thick fir forests, Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge is the perfect pick for a honeymoon. I stayed there three months ago in one of the luxury chalet suites along the water's edge. Harry and Meghan are rumored to have booked the six-bed Outlook cabin, which sits on its own promontory. At night, non-royal guests gather in the clubhouse for cocktails or to relax in the lakeside hot tub. The most romantic activity is stargazing. Jasper Park is one of the best dark skies preserves in the world and the lodge runs magical astronomy evenings, 